Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at this WM100 plus a Levelier kit by Comica. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open the box and show you guys what's inside. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and unzip this thing and see what's inside. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say this case is uh, actually pretty nice. I'm really, really surprised it has this little case. We've got a few things inside. Let's go ahead and take those out. I feel kind of spoiled. All right, we have our manual, which is pretty hefty size. Inside the manual comes this little QC pass, just shows you that it passed the quality control. Comic advertisement and your manual. Also inside is the silica gel, keeps it fresh. Ooh, what is that? This is a quarter inch, I assume for mounting onto your rig. What we have here is three devices. Two of them are the transmitters, one of them is the receiver. On both of the receivers we have a line in as well as a microphone input. So that's interesting, first I've ever had of that. Looks like we have a micro USB connector on the side here. And let's go ahead and open up the back. Takes two double A's. And then we have our mounting point on the back here. So we can mount this, say for instance, uh, a camera mount or, or other. So that's pretty interesting. And it looks like we have the exact same setup here. So imagine for this right here, you can actually run this off a battery pack. Say for instance, if you're recording with your camera or other device, you can definitely do that. And then here we have our receiver, which has a headphone out and an output to your device. This will connect into your camera or your audio recorder. And then you have your battery connector. Same as the others. And it looks as though you have you can have an external battery power source as well. In these little baggies, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. You have an XLR to TRS adapter with a screw in connector. Very nice. I love having the ability to adapt that to XLR, especially if you're doing audio recording uh, with an interface or other device or a mixer. Oh, very nice. This is actually a Comica wind protector. So you can actually use this, say for instance, recording on top of your camera. This will block the wind. It's actually really, really, this is a really, really nice uh, windscreen. I'm surprised. That's, uh, that's very nice. I imagine this is the same. Yep. So we have two windscreens. And then I'm pretty sure these are the lavaliers. Yep. That is correct. And these also have the screw in input TRS adapter, which is nice. And it looks like we got two channels here. What I really like about this is the fact that it has a rubber pop filter on there. So I like this simply because uh, a lot of the pop filters that I have, they're just a foam. And many times when you're wearing this under your shirt or somewhere where you have constant movement between two objects, such as your shirt and your, your body, that can cause these little pop filters to pop off and they end up rubbing on your shirt and causing a lot of noise. So that's kind of nice. That's, that's really innovative and that's smart. I really appreciate that they did that. And then we have another lavalier microphone as well. This would be for your output on your device. So this will be your, your output. We'll screw this in. Very nice. And then this guy will connect it to your camera or your audio recording device. Now say for instance you're recording to a mixer or an audio interface, you would just swap that with this XLR. So that's nice. I, I, I like that as well. I really appreciate the quality build they have for this. This is your micro USB charger. Very simple just for charging and connecting it to your devices. And these, if you haven't seen them before, are basically so you can connect to the back of your device. Now you can slide this in your, say for instance, your pants or your shorts, uh, on your waistband, your belt, under your shirt, or even just on your, the outside of your pocket. Uh, and then you can also just slip this, like for instance, onto a cable, onto your camera. Uh, which I really, really like to do with the mine, especially if I don't have something that'll clip to this. But then you also have the secondary mounting location, which I really appreciate, where you could actually screw this into your little device. And this little guy right here, the cold shoe mount, will mount right onto your camera mount. That way you can just mount it to the side of your camera without issues. 
I really do like how they kind of incorporated a few things that were kind of my issue with these things. For instance, not having a coiled cable with this guy. Uh, this is a plus for me because a lot of times I'll end up using my own coiled cable. Because it's very annoying having something that's not extendable, so I really appreciate that fact. And then the fact that they have this guy, this mounting point on these, as well as an external USB charging location. Uh, so for instance, if your battery starts to run low and you can see that, instead of uh, and if you don't have batteries, you can just plug in an external power source while you're recording, or you can test it out. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and test these guys out and see exactly how they sound in comparison to my Tackstar microphone that I currently have running, which is the SPC598. Now, keep in mind, the microphone that I'm recording on now is the Snowball, just for the voiceover audio. Uh, so that'll have uh, a big difference of audio simply because it's connected to my computer. I can run noise reduction and condenser audio. Uh, I am trying to add a little bit of noise uh, in the background so you guys can hear the difference. So let's go ahead and test these out now and see how they sound. All right, guys, we are recording now on the Taxar SGC598, which is a budget shotgun microphone option. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Comico WM100 Plus A to test out the audio and see how different the audio sounds with the lavalier setup versus a shotgun microphone. All right, guys, we are now testing on the WM100 Comico microphone. This is a audio microphone. This is a fully wireless audio microphone. It takes two AA batteries. It has two line ends on each transmitter, and it has two audio outputs on the receiver. This is Dustin Vang. We are testing out the lavalier audio of the WM100 Comica microphones. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. All right, guys, so my opinions is that this is actually pretty good audio. In comparison to some of the other wireless audio options I've had in this budget range, it actually has really good audio. It's got really good audio pickup, seems crisp, and has a good amount of bass pickup. Uh, I haven't really had issues with interference or channel changing. Uh, the battery life seems to be pretty reliable. The distance is about 100 meters. And overall, I think the construction quality is really well done. They really, really uh, made sure to address some of the issues with the other wireless audio setups that are out there. And I really appreciate the fact that they've done that with this one. So definitely highly recommend checking out the Comica WM100 Plus A or the other variations of this exact same kit with either wireless microphones or other devices and use it for your videos. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like these videos, definitely consider hitting that like and subscribe. As always, stay awesome and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.